Okay, if you are looking forward to HyperOS 2.0, we have already available for some of the devices officially I'm talking about also for some of the other Xiaomi devices, it's available as a ported edition. But in case you are wondering about HyperOS modded edition, because we have some modded editions of previous HyperOS versions and also MIUI versions. So because this is HyperOS 2.0, we have the new modded edition, not exactly a new one, but we have eLightroom, which I made a video already on some of the previous versions, but with this new update, which is based on android 15 which is based on hyper os 2.0 available for few of the devices and for other devices it might be available soon some of these things uh, some of the things included in this room are just so amazing like take a look at the first of the options we have in the spoofing device options there are some of the spoofing options available but actually you if you are able to notice we have pixel props we have the option for unlimited photo storage we have snapchat spoofing like same some of these these options are available in some of the custom rooms already but not in hyperways and as you can see we have something different and what this is this is a key box what this does is it is actually in simple words it is actually related to play integrity let me show you as you can see we have the play integrity fix already included this is inbuilt and yes if you install this one on a device and you don't root your device i guess you will be able to use all the banking apps and so on let me confirm this thing once again if you take a look at this play play integrity options in the google play store to see you can see we have the basic integrity passing we have the device integrity passing and also the strong integrity yes in few of the custom rooms right now strong integrity is not passing in some of these custom rooms it is passing but this one is a bit different as compared to some of the other custom rooms and yes whenever it, it simply fails you can simply fetch the new key box and new play integrity fix i'm not exactly sure for how long it will work but for now it is working so definitely you can check this out as expectedly bootloader is spoofed to locked which means most likely you will be able to use or like whatsapp and some of the other apps too let me show you one more thing if you are wondering about circle to search yes it is here it is working fine without even changing the launcher this is the default launcher which we have of course it is a uh, xiaomi's launcher poco launcher if you're using a poco device if you're using me why uh, i mean to say like my device which is me 11x then you have this hyper os launcher normal one launcher which you have in me why already it works flawlessly without any issues uh, but let me show you one more thing for example if you take a look at the google photos unlimited backup it is included you can enable this thing you can disable this thing by default i guess it is enabled and i guess if you use custom rooms most of most of the times you use this feature you actually need this thing it's quite useful and if, if it is available by default you don't need to root your device that's just good take a look at some of the other options for example the super icons if you want to customize the default icons you don't like them but you don't want to change the theme you have a lot of super icons options available and as expectedly all of these icons are literally free you can install and use any one of these icons and as you can see i'm downloading it i applied it without any issues it is applied successfully same thing applies to app vault widgets there are a lot of widgets available which you can apply on a device also we have some server options available for theme theme app theme app actually so if you use china server you will get the china themes and china widgets etc etc if you use india global russia or any other server which is already available in this one you can use any one of them on your device things are looking so good so far in hyper os 2.0 this is the initial version by the way so it is still good as expectedly but yes with upcoming updates with the new updates you might see some of the new changes some more fixes maybe better performance and a lot more extra things so you shall be excited for the hyper os 2.0 unfortunately it's not available for many xiaomi devices but it is available for few of the devices it has two versions one is the paid one which i'm using right now one is a free one which is elightroom light edition which is not bad i mean if you don't want to pay for that you can use that one thing let me show you which is quite amazing so for example i tried niagara launcher here and if i try to switch to niagara launcher as you will see we have the navigation keys available but this thing the thing which is actually quite good in this one is for example if i hold here you will see the circle to search is here it is working fine so which means if you want to change if you have no issues with the gestures or keys you can change the launchers and you can do that you can simply use circle to search this custom room this e-light modded edition 
already has a lot of customizations for you a lot of features for you i don't think so there are enough options as compared to the previous hyperos 1.0 edition but this is hyperos 2.0 and this is the first initial stage so more features more customizations might be added in future if you're able to notice we still have some of the amazing features as you can see you can switch between the theme server global china india russia turkey germany you can use any one of them for me i will use india server and i have the import option so i can use it for on my device for sure if you use MIUI 11 style quick settings panel, you have some of the tweaks, some of the options available for you. But I'm using this normal thing, which is not bad. And also, in case you don't know about HyperOS 2.0, the changes, the features, I made a dedicated video already on HyperOS 2.0 changes and features I found. And because one of the main highlights of HyperOS is lock screen, so you have to check that for sure. And as in case you you actually did something which you don't want to which you did not want to then you have the option to reset all these customizations in this one we also have some of the hyper ai features available in this case while making this video it's not there it's not working but that's completely okay and maybe in future most likely in future with the upcoming updates you will see hyper ai features will work for you too so that's actually so good it depends which device you are using because if you use a low-end device then uh, maybe a ported addition for your device you might face some of the issues not the major ones by the way only minor few issues here and there which is not a big deal but if you use a device which actually supports hyperos 2.0 or maybe a new one uh, then definitely this could be a great option for you especially if you love hyperos like if you don't use aosp focused custom rooms or more we have all these HyperOS 2.0 apps and etc etc so yes these were the things just wanted to let you know hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you are new here don't forget to subscribe the channel because i may we i make videos regarding HyperOS, other custom rooms avsp and a lot more things so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one until then take care